Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome to another Beekeeping Basics. Okay, so we're back in the honey room and we've brought some supers back and extracted and we want to test them now to see what water content they have. Uh, we're going to use a honey refractometer. This is the refractometer. It's a really simple tool to use and uh, a, an inexpensive tool uh, and one that um, really all beekeepers should have if you're um, selling or even giving away some honey to friends and relatives. It's worth checking to make sure that the honey is ripe enough to go into the jars and isn't going to ferment uh, in the jars while it's sat on a shelf. So we're going to show you the setup uh, of the refractometer and then we'll put some honey onto it and do a practical test and show you what percentage water uh, content the honey we've just extracted has. So stick with us and we'll crack on with that now. Okay so this is the case that the refractometer arrived in and uh, you get the refractometer, uh, there's an adjustment screwdriver, uh, you've got the um, adjustment fluid for setting up the calibration or calibrating fluid and also there's a small prism here which uh, goes into the uh, cover plate which is this piece here uh, for when you're doing the calibration so we'll show you how to do the calibration um, it's very basic um, this is the cover plate which is a, a hinged clear plastic plate it then goes down into the prism itself which is this section here um, you've got uh, the calibration screw on the top here which um, normally they're set when you first get them but it's worth just double checking uh, this is the mirror tube so the light comes through the prism travels along the tube to the eyepiece which is at this end and you look through there and this knurled ring at the top here allows you to adjust it for, for your eyesight. So it's a very basic piece of equipment that does a very effective job. So uh, we'll just get uh, set up and we'll do a calibration and see if we can film that and show you exactly what you get looking through the eyepiece. Okay, so the glass block goes under the cover plate, the light goes through the glass plate, through the prism, along the mirror tube and um, you view it through the eyepiece. Uh, there's a small screw here that you adjust and what I've done is um, turned it um, so that the scale is incorrect and the video that you can see is um, the view through my mobile phone so you can actually see the scale and you can see that it's uh, a long way from uh, where it should be which is um, a moisture content of 19.6 so the, the test measurement is 19.6 so I've then readjusted the screw and you can see that there are um, uh, visible color differences so you've got the blue section and then a slightly pink section so it's that gradient between the two uh, and that's the point that I use to take the reading so um, now that we've got it set up we can clean the prism, get it all set up and do a honey test. Okay, so the process is very simple. Take a small amount of honey, it doesn't need to be a huge amount, but it does need to cover the entire prism. So we smear it across the prism and make sure you don't have any air bubbles um, because you don't want to trap any air in it and confuse the reading. So we've got a honey there, we just wipe off some excess and then the cover plate simply slides down on top and the hinge will secure it so that there are no bubbles across the prism. So if we now take this and have a look at the reading, uh, there you can see exactly what the reading is. So I hope you found that useful. Um, in terms of the cost of uh, this piece of equipment, uh, you can find it on the internet quite easily. Uh, this morning I've taken a look and found 
um, many of them on eBay for instance ranging from approximately 15 or 16 pounds you can get them from beekeeping suppliers uh, the prices there range from 40 pounds upwards there are digital versions that you can obtain but they're several hundred pounds and this piece of kit does the job it cost me around 20 pounds including postage and it's really worth having if you're a member of an association or a society uh, it would be worth talking to other members and maybe clubbing together and buying one for everybody to use you don't use them very often uh, and, and it would be worth sharing around and allowing other members to get involved and check their honey as well um, I hope you find that of use um, and especially for Patrick, please like and share the video and uh, we'll catch up with you next time and hopefully we can show you uh, in the next video how we clear some of our supers using a clearer board. So catch up with us in the next video and thanks very much for watching.